what's up guys it's me it's me it's action figure freak once again and for this week i got you the marvel legends x-men vhs series mystique this one looks pretty promising and yeah i just needed one got this one pretty cheap and i would say i won't waste too much time anymore and just rip this thing open And here we get the first up 360 of the figure and I gotta say sounds hard but I'm disappointed a lot uh, there's a lot to talk about on this figure and I'm going into the detail in a second but yeah it looks pretty okay that's the first thing I could say but there's some big ass issues so yeah let's start into this First up, like most of the times, we're going to take a look on the articulation at first. We got that vertical hinge here uh, on her neck with a dot on top so she can move her head. We got no ball joints on the arms, which is <laughs> real sad. Uh, then we got those rotatable arms like here, nothing double jointed or anything too special. Uh, horizontal hinges on these hands uh, on her accessory hands we got also uh, no no the left one has horizontal hinges and the other one got vertical for the guns we got that belly joint here that absolutely doesn't really move can just do it to the front and back but to the sides it's not really working uh, we have no swivels on the hips as you can see, we have swivels here on the legs, the normal leg articulation. Double jointed knees, no swivels on the shin, swivels on the feet and vertical hinges on the feet too. Okay, there's a lot to talk about. Let's take a second look at the accessories. So, I don't even know if it can stand, but... We had two trigger hands, uh, trigger hands. She got two weapons, one gun, and one big blaster thing. Uh, so yeah, she can grab those weapons. It's a pretty good addition that they put those hands in there. And I gotta say, the weapons, they look good. They're real simple. There's not that much of yeah, there's no, no other paints or anything, but the mold itself looks really, really good. If I would paint this up, it would look really, really good. Uh, also, that little gun here. It's a little too on it, I don't know why. Uh, but those are molded really, really good. Uh, we also got here the little Nightcrawler baby. He can't move the head. But yeah, that's also pretty good. But I feel like I'm missing something here. And I gotta say, isn't she missing something for her transforming powers? I mean, like, if you're not giving her ball joints as the arms or double jointed elbows and stuff, especially those arms, you make interchangeable hands and... I think on the pretty new uh, Ant-Man or Giant-Man, uh, the two-pack they released, they, they gave him arms that you can remove, like on the bath pieces. Why couldn't they do a Mystique figure where you can pull the arm out and you get a human-colored arm, I don't know, something like this, so you can yeah, pretend a transformation of her. But no, you get nothing like that. And also no fists. And a big ass lack of movability. <laughs> that's, that's the problem I get a little bit. You have no movability. And the head is the worst part. If, he's looking, uh, if she's looking up like this, that's pretty pretty normal. So she's not really looking up. So you gotta take the whole hip with it then it would kind of work uh, but the problem is she only can really look down the hair is looking like shit uh, if you do that and yeah 
to the sides and stuff, you see the head moves always down. It's not really, really working here. Look into the sides. Maybe, and maybe, maybe crying too much. But I think that's that's a little issue. Let's just focus on the details a little bit. We get some shading effects like on all of those VHF series figures and yeah, starting off on those arms, we got here some gray bluish like paint over there going pretty flawless into the hands. We got under her breasts some gray. Uh, on the back isn't much, there's just that thing on the towel hanging down here on the front too. We got some extra paint here on the legs and yeah that, that was also pretty much everything. The only other shaded part is the Nightcrawler baby. There you get a little bit of darker brown all over the blanket. But yeah, th that's that's pretty okay. Uh, the detail I like the most, I mean, the face looks like shit. Just, just look at that facial expression and then just look at the one on the box. That one looks way too thick. I gotta say the figure face looks too thick. Should be more slim. Uh, and an interchangeable head would also be, have been a fine addition. Uh, but yeah, we got on the head that little skull in yellow golden. And I think the best part is the skirt, the blanket, whatever you want to call it. Here with all those skulls molded inside there. They may be not looking the best, but that's, that's creative. I like that. I like that. Uh... But yeah, I really gotta say, there's not any more yeah, details and other things in the figure here. The only thing I gotta say, it's really hard to stand. So, here swivels on the shin wouldn't bend that much, but it could make the figure stand a whole lot better. As you can probably see, the legs are already loose and I just pulled it out of the box so I don't get why Hasbro sometimes can't fix their figures otherwise I gotta say Hasbro got yeah, a good bunch of variety of their characters so that's the mostly the reason why I buy them but yeah should you buy it or should you leave it in the shelf um, I gotta say, from a 1 to 10 rating, this one is, uh, yeah, 5.5, 6, something between those lines. Because it looks good when it stands still, but if you want to use it for good poses or anything, uh, it just hurts and, yeah, I just feel like there's something missing. Uh, yeah, I would give it a 6 out of 10 because the skulls are really, really good made. Uh, but really, there's something missing on this one. So yeah, that was pretty much everything of this week. Next week is going to be loaded with videos. I'm going to have birthday tomorrow. And yeah, I'm going to show, going to show you a haul and other stuff. And I hope we see tomorrow. And yeah. Goodbye for now. Yeah. Have a good day.